LA is just that city, you know? Like, if you're a YouTuber and you want to make it as a YouTuber and you want to hang around people that do similar things that you do and you want to become successful, you have to be around those type of people that are going to help you grow and that know the industry more than I do. That's the only way I can become better. And I really feel like me traveling and even though I'm in this bed, like, look at this shit. This is disgusting. Look, let me show you. I get a king bed. I get this space, I get this drive-by window right here that you guys can't even see, but it literally looks like anybody at any point in time can just come here and just, you know what I'm saying? A really great area where you should bring your family and everything. And then you see this. It's like, this is exactly, ah! But even though I'm in this type of circumstance where I'm living like a, a wagey, it actually does motivate me to a certain degree to actually want to get that money. Cause like last time when I came here and I seen the Nelk house and I seen like, how they live in, I want that lifestyle. I want to be making money. I know there's a lot of YouTubers who try to act like they don't want money. It's like, what are you talking about? And people be like, you just do this for money. Why can't I do this for money and love what I do at the same time? Why do I got to choose? I never understood that concept. And I'm not going to do a lot today, to be honest. But yeah, I'm hungry as fuck. Loki, I'm going to probably cop this and then I'm probably go to sleep. Even though it's like not even one yet. This is like day 2.0, I guess. My boys from Science Project got a pop-up right now. We went to the one in New York last vlog, and now they're doing it in LA. So we gotta come out, support your friends, you know what I'm saying? Always free marketing out here on this channel. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? You good again? Man. Good. All right, so where we at, bro? We have the pop-up in LA on 4.30 on yeah, Fairfax. Yeah, 4.30 Fairfax. Everything's up on the website right now? Yeah, everything's on the website right now. So we got our Neutral Ground t-shirts. Here, okay. Our caps. Yeah, the, like the flannel, I saw that on Kyron's channel. He did yeah. the... He or, did the he, old one, I actually got it on. Oh, that's the, the old yeah, one. This is the old one. Oh, yeah. okay. Last fall. I was gonna say, yeah, I saw that definitely. on the channel. I didn't even know about that. Like, I knew both of you guys. I didn't even know you guys collaborated yeah, until yeah, that nah, video. Yeah, definitely. Kyron's good dude, good dude. Cool wide leg cargoes. Yeah, the wide legs are crazy. Yeah. And then that vest. You gotta see that vest. Yeah, everybody loves the vest. That's what I'm saying. This the vest is the going crazy. Right here. Everybody loves the vest. And we got our necessity on our hoodie. Yeah, so, like, what is Neutral Grounds? I would say Neutral Grounds is just a neutral way of explaining our collection. It's like not a clean up piece, it's not a streetwear piece, it's whatever you wanna make it. It's very neutral. It's, it can be clean up, it could be dress up. So, yeah. So, how old are you? I'm 22. 22? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know you were seeing yeah. Asian. That's crazy. Yeah, man's killing it right now. Now I need a bed, bro. Look, my mouth is getting dry. <coughs> and I'm coughing like I got Rona. Anything but that monkey. You going red, red, red. How are you today? Good, how are you? You're beautiful. I love your camera. Thank you. Do you want to receive it? No, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. You're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah, good to meet you, too. What a nice lady, man. That's how I want my girl to treat me, but honestly, for right now, I'm bitchless. Queenless. I feel like I'm like 90 years old. I don't like going out. I just like working. I don't know. I really only just like working. Like, I only care about building this and doing the videos. I don't really care about going out no more. I'm 22, bro. I had a year of that shit and I'm over it. Yo, bro. You work at 7 Eleven? No, I just bought these. I've never seen those before. Oh, yeah. Are these like unreleased 7 Elevens? No, these are just on the Crocs website. On the Crocs website? Yeah, I've never seen these shit before. Yeah. I right, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I ain't never in my life seen some dude with 7-Eleven Crocs that don't even work there. Men's just, men's just out here repping 7-Eleven. This is day three or day four. This is day five. And this is how we're living. Like, I understand why people want to live in New York. I want to live in New York. I'm probably going to end up on that brokey type of shit where I'm on the same type of studio apartment. Like this. Like, this is probably going to be my house in New York. Because at least what you're about to see right now, I haven't even seen it yet. But my boy got a crib in L.A. This should inspire you. Maybe maybe move to LA. And nah, I'm not like an advocate for Los Angeles. But still, I'm trying to open my mind. I'm trying to be more open-minded about where I'm supposed to be. Because there's a lot of YouTubers over here, but everybody in fashion is in New York. But now I feel like it's time to just get that comparison. It's time to see what it's really like living in LA. But right now, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to stop being a brokey. I'm on a mission to get my money up. I know I'll be doing YouTube videos, but I ain't making millies yet. All right, bro. Look at these houses already. This don't look like New York. This ain't New York City. This don't look like New York City. This don't look like New York City. I just want a Valentine, I just want Valentino. I just want the neck, I poke a face like a casino. Deep throw, no I get it in like a free throw. 24K, bro. Deep throw, I don't want to hear another man talking about no deep throw, bro. And I've been singing these lyrics for a while and I just am thinking about this. Like, song is still fire though. You can't say nothing about the song. 
All right, bet. They just let me in. Yo, I've this a vibe, though. This nah, this is a vibe, yeah, though. Yeah. First, tell them what you do, though. Because okay. they got to know how, you know, uh, how you get in this type of lifestyle. You're not working at Walmart doing this. I'm a creative director. Uh, I consult for a lot of brands, people, artists, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I just do cool shit, man. So how'd you even get cool. started with this, though? Like... Where'd you grow up? I grew up in West Oakland in Acord. I mean, to know what I do is just, you can see it. Like I've grown up into like politics and civil yeah. rights. Uh, if you grew up in Oakland, then you grew up in the backyard of where like the Black Panthers was founded and shit. So like, yeah. So my thing is like, you know, I love the fly shit is cool. You know, getting getting drip or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, there's so much more bigger shit out here. And I'd rather just use this as like a Trojan horse to talk to kids about like, the real shit. This is Jim Joe. Jim Joe. Yeah, Jim Joe. He's the guy who did, um, if you're reading this, it's too late. Yeah. Drake. Yo, I was going to say, it looks exactly like that. I got lucky. Uh, I was working for a creative agency at the time. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got it. You want to know something funny? What? Is, you know, art is like fraud. I literally stole this, but also, <laughs> yeah. also, I, could, I literally did credit card fraud to pay for art school. That is rare. That's so, a different story. Yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> this I stole as well. Oh my god! On the road. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> no like, parking. No. Nah, so check this. I used to live in San Francisco, and there was a uh, this sign that used to be there right in front of my crib. Fuck if anybody lived in San Francisco, you know, 7 a.m. they start ticketing you. And I've got my car towed so many times, I was like... Oh, so you just grabbed that shit and said, fuck it? Like, out of frustration, <laughs> like, I, they owe me this. I paid enough for tickets, no, you know what I'm saying? And obviously the wall is all uh, Kenny Scharf characters. If you're into Warhol or Basquiat, like, this guy is like, he represents, like, New York graffiti culture, street art. To like, the T. To the T, you yeah. know what I mean? This is an original bumper sticker from when Eldridge Cleaver ran for president. The night he announced his run for president, he literally got into a shootout with the Oakland PD. Same night. What? Same night. I didn't know about that. Same night. Most people don't know about that story. And that shit always tripped me out hearing about it when I was growing up. Like, what the fuck? So I got lucky. I got this. This is, it still has the adhesive on the back. I could take it out of the fucking frame and put it on a car if I wanted to. That's insane. Like, really, and you really got the OG rare. one, yeah. yeah it's really, really rare. What's this? You don't know art, huh? Kids. That's by this old guy named Pablo Picasso. Oh, that's the Picasso piece that you're telling me about? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, that's a good one right there. Well, let me show you the Now the one. business floor, yeah, the fashion floor. This is just my bedroom. Oh, that's the bedroom, okay. Yeah, there's nothing in here except for... A... Yo, these are my favorite glasses right now, though. These are the best. These are old Ray-Bans. They're from the 60s. But these ones, this is actually the, the shape that everyone used to make the Marnies and the Balenciagas. That oh, those were the inspiration? Yeah. I got undercover jeans sitting on the floor. Oh, the, under, the co <laughs> undercover jeans. You know, everybody cares about the vintage Lang, right? That's what everybody wants. Oh, my God. Yeah, but they don't destroy them. I drew this myself. Right. If you actually look at Golden's video, Coco, he's wearing this in it. That's little bro, so I was like, I was I just listening it. to that song, bro. <laughs> Coco Chanel. Yeah, but this this <laughs> all I'll show y'all. My vintage t-shirts are anywhere from five hundred to ten thousand. The vintage shirts? Yeah. This is a mosquito head. Do y'all research on this? this oh, I think you were just were you just wearing this? Yeah, I just saw I the just same story. Just posted because it is. It's on grill for like 75 Oh yeah, 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 that's why. <laughs> All these teas, you know, it's just like super rare shit. Some of them offensive, like. <laughs> he said some of them offensive. Yeah, actually, hold on, let me show you Let's see, I went to hell, and all I got was a crummy t-shirt. Look at the front. <laughs> I'm not anti-Semitic. <laughs> Yo, I'm not anti-Semitic, this ain't no Kanye <laughs> controversy right now. This is funny, because this shit is actually like, it's a fucking band. It's hard shit. though. Me, but yeah. Anti-Semitic shit up. is hard. Closing that. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we ain't gonna show too much, but this is like, yo, I didn't even see this. this All the like shoes. The rotation I'll be wearing. This is the rotation. How long it takes you to get through this? What do you mean? No, this is just what I'm wearing over the next few months. All this is gonna be gone. Like it's a real rotation. Like I have a storage unit. I probably have a few hundred pairs of shoes. Oh, so you so bring them in and then take them I out. Bring them in. I take them out. Get rid of them. Give them to friends. Like whatever you know. These. Yeah, yeah these are eighty fives. 
These 94s right here, these are oh stupid rare. 85? Yeah. <clears throat> the fours? Yeah, but these are lasers. These are not just regular fours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these ain't regular fours. These are sample Givenchy. Givenchy, yeah. But the sample ones. Oh, sample? Yeah. yeah oh, these, so nobody got these. These don't even got a size tag in these shits, bro. <laughs> Look at these, these oh, pictures, though. Oh, 24K, yeah. Poverty sucks. Actually, so this is the first cover I ever directed, styled, anything. In addition to styling, I know most people just put clothes on people, but I actually designed these pants and the belt. This ain't this ain't random either. Yeah, like, what's this? I mean, I know if y'all seen Rocky, but I've seen him wearing it. A little necklace. It's, it's from a good brand. We won't talk about it. Oops, someone showed it. But yeah, you always see me and Rocky with that for sure. Oh, and someone named the star after me, so they sent this. They named the actual star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a star named after me. <laughs> that was like a birthday Bro, gift. What? These people that you know are just This this was bought for me by like a Lebanese princess. Another oh, the bathroom. This is my bathroom. It's not another room. It's just my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, got the V long robe. <laughs> hey, if your girl come over here and take a picture of this v long bro <laughs> she know where she mad. at you know where she at don't get mad <laughs> especially, <laughs> said don't. especially when you got hotel towels yo kids <laughs> make sure you splurge on your towels go like this you know you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You're good to go. No, I might walk real. around like this. Yo, no dead time. Ass. This might be the fit for the rest of the... Oh, this no. the new fit right here. This is what I'm wearing for the rest of the... Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all get y'all smell goods and everything, too. You know? Yeah, he got everything. Make everything sure right. right. Make sure y'all live right. It's, it's not a, just the clothes. It's a real everything. lifestyle. It's yeah. a lifestyle. Yo, at first, I was going to make this like a vlog, just showing you guys what I'm doing in L.A. But we got complex con tomorrow we got a lot of shit going on and i wanted to show you guys because i wanted to learn myself and you gotta learn from people who got good intentions who really came from nothing he didn't get shit handed to him he had to work like crazy to build what he has now and you know it's really inspiring to me that's what i'm trying to do especially me i know i'm only 22 years old only 22 i feel old as hell but I'm, I'm trying to get to that milli mark and everybody talks about like oh money isn't everything money isn't this money isn't that but you need money to survive you need money to be happy in life in my opinion i want to be rich i don't think i could be happy if i'm not rich and that's just how it is working doing what i want to do and get as much money as possible i think it's more impactful for you guys to see shit like this than for me just to make a la vlog even though the complex con is gonna be cool when i have an opportunity like this to show you guys what it really means to make money and that type of lifestyle is important to see so yeah, I hope you guys keep coming back for the videos. I love you guys and LA videos coming ASAP, especially ComplexCon. Peace.